I'm Jamal Wilson. I fly a Cherokee 180 based at beautiful Maryland Airport in Indian Head, Maryland. And I'm David Gray, the Surveillance and Broadcast Services Program Manager at the FAA. I've recently installed ADSB out equipment on my aircraft, and I've asked David to come out and walk me through some of the benefits of the equipment. It's great to be back. I'm looking forward to hearing about your experience and about your equipment. So, Jamal, we talked through uh, your ADSB out equipage, mm -hmm. but I think you have ADSB in also. Right. What I did was I settled on a dual link ADSB in receiver that gives me 1090 and 978. Now, I had the ADSB in solution prior to equipping with out. Uh, what I found was that my sight picture was really, really incomplete. I didn't see a lot of the traffic picture that I see now, now that I have my ADSB out compliant solution also. That makes sense because the service is really designed around ADSB out. And so uh, if you're not broadcasting, we're not giving you uh, all the traffic in your area. Let's look at the display. What do we see here? So now that I have a complete site picture with out and in, what I'm getting is both ADSB traffic hits as well as traffic that shows up on Tisby. With the difference being, you can see a little bit more robust information set uh, with the ADSB hits than I do with the Tisby targets that just show raw data. Before I had this, I heard of a service called ADSR. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Sure. The FAA provides a service called ADSB Rebroadcast. Mm -hmm. And I like to think of it as a translator from one language to another, taking 978 and translating to 1090 or vice versa. But because of the equipment that you've bought, your airplane's basically bilingual. Right. So now that I'm seeing this complete site picture, I mean, is there, is there anything that I won't see? On ADSB? Well, the rule does have an exception for aircraft that weren't originally certificated with an electrical system. So mm -hmm. these are aircraft that are typically like uh, gliders or balloons or something like that. They won't show up. Okay, so I guess it's important for me as a pilot to remember that this is a situational awareness tool and I should still get outside the airplane not only to acquire what I see here on ADSB, but visually acquire things outside the aircraft that don't show up. Absolutely. Absolutely.